We're going to have a look at a really dumb article today. Why women need to start asking men out. Because men have no balls. The lovely Sugar Tits has agreed to read the article for me. So just keep in mind when, I mean, if I say some really nasty shit, I'm not saying it to Sugar Tits, I'm saying it to the scholar who wrote the article. Right. Ladies, it's been said before, but I'll say it again. They just don't make them like they used to. There's no door holding, no hand holding, and definitely no free drinks. There's no taking off hats or courting through invitations. There are no smooth moves, no jackets to dinner. There are no flowers, no tables by candlelight. But most importantly, there are no dates. There are no dates for you, love. No dates for you. Just doesn't sugar tits do that bitchy voice really well. She's doing a fine job of this article too. If you're a single woman, you probably envisioned your 20s as a roaring social scene, full of expensive dinners and lavish nights out. Well, maybe you're a little bit deluded, because most people's 20s are a roaring social scene full of cheap as fuck dinners sitting on milk crates or a futon if you're lucky, pissing themselves at the latest dank memes and getting absolutely fuck-eyed on bucket bongs or some other equally inefficient novelty weed-smoking device. You probably thought you'd have a boyfriend, or at least a few dates a week. A few dates a week? Like 150 odd a year? You obviously mean with different blokes too, because you said a boyfriend or a few dates a week. I don't mean to slut shame, but fucking hell. You probably thought you'd meet a guy at a bar and that he'd ask you for your number. You probably thought you'd be on your way to dinner next week. After too many nights spent in bars and one too many phone numbers given out, you've probably realised the sad truth of the situation. You're not going on any dates or being courted in any type of manner because, unfortunately, men these days are cowards. Because, like, there couldn't be anything wrong with you. Well, to be fair here, not all men, but a lot of them. They'll make eye contact with you in the bar, but never come over. They'll get your number, but never call. They'll offer to buy you a drink, but never pay. They'll say a girl is hot, but never hit on her. They'll text you for a week, but never ask you out. They'll do absolutely everything but make a move. Yeah, because I think that's like rape these days. I've watched men pine over women, talking about them like future wives. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> Did you miss me? With every bullet so far. <laughs> Yet after staring at them for two hours, let them walk away. I've watched men chase women down for phone numbers, yet wait a week to text them, acting like it's something they simply forgot about. I've watched men spend an entire night talking to a girl, yet never get up the nerve to ask for her number. We're dealing with a new breed of men here, and it's not the kind we grew up dreaming about. It's the want what I want, but don't know how to get it type. And us blokes are dealing with a new breed of chick these days. It's the I'm pushing 30 and have had kilometres of dick through me. And as I chain smoke at some skeezy bar wondering why every bloke inside isn't grovelling at my feet, I speak down to everyone I meet because I have a massively overinflated opinion of myself type. Well, I don't have to deal with them, but a lot of poor blokes have to. Why do you think MGTOW's a thing? It's the sweet and cuddly mama's boy who grew up terrified of making the first move. I don't blame blokes for being terrified of making the first move these days. That's rape culture. It's the guys who have so much to say but don't know how to say it. Now, the unfortunate paradox for a woman is that she must be the chased and the chaser. She must be the target and the shooter. She must play coy and simultaneously pursue him. Anyone notice the problem here? Yep. Blokes don't like you. Yet again, women are left to do all the work. All the work? Are you serious? Let it go, Baron. Just let it go. She's an idiot. No, she's fucking serious. Let it go, mate. Remember what happened last time? What the fucking fuck? We're left playing both sides of the game because they've simply forgotten how to play. It stems from a number of factors, but most predominantly from the fact that men don't know what the hell they want from us. 
They want the virgin and the whore. They want the slut and the good girl. They want the girl who's hard to get, but they don't know how to get her. It's fucking killing me. I'm pretty sure it was Jim Jeffries, but I can't find it. Where he says, We just want you to suck our dick and cup our balls. That would have been fucking perfect for this bit. Can someone help me out? Because they don't know what they want, they end up chasing nothing. It's the dilemma of the overcrowded buffet. No, this is the dilemma of the overcrowded buffet. There are too many options, so they choose an empty plate. Or something they don't even like to begin with. This leaves women making all the moves. We must tell them what we want if we're to get anywhere close to the goals we had for ourselves. But it will never be as we fully imagined because, in our dreams, men weren't timid or scared little boys. And in our dreams, women weren't big scary condescending moles. In our dreams, men are the ones with the balls to ask us out. Seriously, get a grip. Men aren't holding back from asking you out because they don't have the balls. If that were a widespread issue, humanity would have a fucking population crisis, wouldn't it? In reality, there's 7.4 billion people in the world and men don't want to go out with you. They're scared of you. They'll never admit it, but you scare the hell out of them. Look, I don't speak for every bloke, but I wouldn't say that's an unreasonable statement. But I think it's more like the thought of having to be near you. Yeah. After years of social conditioning, we've been duped into thinking that men are the strong ones, that they are the leaders, the protectors and the fighters, that they are the ones that see what they want and go after it. Well, TV lied to you. Men aren't these masculine displays of strength and perseverance. They aren't these persistent characters created by Nicholas Sparks and John Green. They aren't going to catch your eye and spend all night convincing you why you should be with them. Well, that wouldn't make much sense, would it? Seeing as how they don't want to be with you. They aren't Noah Calhouns. They aren't Augustus Waters. Yeah, look, I'm sorry, but I don't know who all these cunts you're name dropping are. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, but to me, they're just faggoty names. Augustus Waters. Men are shy, timid, and scared shitless of any woman with half a brain. Well, scared shitless of ending up with a woman with half a brain, maybe. Imagine having to put up with some airheaded fucking moron for the rest of your life. It's said that the male ego is as fragile as a woman's heart, and unfortunately for women, men won't take the chance of letting it shatter. While women willingly put themselves out there, men stand back scared of the tiniest bruise on their overinflated self-image. So yet again, women must be the strong ones. We must put ourselves out there and risk rejection. Because if we don't do it, bars will soon be exactly like those middle school dances. Boys on one side, girls on the other. You know, the fact that bars seem to be the only place that you think you can meet someone that you're potentially romantically interested in says something about you. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to crank up that half a brain you're talking about and have a think about it. They got it from their mamas. Why are men like this? Well, for years they've been raised by their mamas. The women who told them they were the best thing God created on this earth. For years they've been given everything on a silver platter. Up until the end of college, who just threw up their jungle juice. Of course, some mothers have raised great men. This isn't to discredit the generation of mothers before us who raised the myriad of young men we're dealing with today. But for the select few who didn't teach them how to properly court a woman, well, shame on you. What fucking mother teaches their son how to pick up chicks? What a stupid fucking thing to say. Shame on you for not teaching them how to properly approach a woman. Yeah, uh, look, uh, I'm sorry, that'd be so fucking weird. Imagine your mum teaching you how to fucking pick up sluts at a bar. Fucking hell. Shame on you for giving them the idea that women must go to them. Shame on you for making them believe all they had to do was stand at a bar and wait for a girl to appear on their arm. They think there's always someone better. In the society in which we live today, with Gigi Hadid and Miranda Kerr's Instagrams readily accessible, Women have got a lot to compete with. 
unfortunately, we're competing with women these men will never have a shot with. This chick is so ugly, and I'm not talking about her appearance, I'm talking about her personality, which is the worst kind of ugly. She could be Miranda Kerr's twin sister, and she'd still be an absolute fucking minger. I mean, you'd probably, like, if you met her at a bar. But you wouldn't hang around for a cup of tea. And she doesn't look like Miranda Kerr anyway. Unfortunately, these men don't seem to know this. We can dream about Channing Tatum and Chris Pine all we want, but at least women are rational enough to understand that's just not gonna happen. So we settle for the options we've been given and learn to work with what we have. Men, on the other hand, always seem to be waiting for something better. Than you. In the age of Facebook and Instagram, there's this constant filtered delusion that a hotter girl sits just an inbox away. Men also know that if they don't get up the nerve to ask you out, all they have to do is swipe right on Tinder to skip the date and get right to the good stuff. They never grew up. Lauren Martin is a senior lifestyle writer at Elite Daily. After graduating from PSU, she moved to NYC to write fart jokes at Smosh magazine. Making her way to ED, she now writes riveting commentary on nude pics, condoms and first dates. People in glass houses love. In a sad but not all that surprising report by Nickelodeon UK. Nickelodeon. As in cartoon Nickelodeon. For fuck's sake. Men are 11 years behind women in maturity. While women reach maturation by 32, men aren't fully matured until 43. While this study garnered much attention, women everywhere were less than surprised. Didn't we already know this? To add insult to the few dates you have yet to be asked on, men are also getting married less than ever before. According to a study by Pew Research Center, only 26% of Generation Y is married. I'm starting to repeat myself here, but you seriously look at these numbers and conclude that men must have turned into pussies all of a sudden. Listen, if I don't buy a fucking Subaru, do you think it's more likely that I A. Don't want a Subaru, because Subarus are gay, or B. Couldn't muster up the courage to go down to the Subaru dealership and negotiate with a salesman? Fucking hell. Compared to the 48% of our parents at this age, there's no denying that men just don't have their shit together. We're dating less and thus marrying less, and the downfall picks up speed with every failed attempt to ask a woman out. Well that was fucking painful and I'm very glad it's over. Any closing remarks, sugar tits? I'm sorry everyone. Bering made me do it. This woman is a bitch. She was a complete and utter cunt. And Bering even told me to make my voice sound like a cunt. You know, watching my channel grow as quickly as it has, has been fucking incredible. It's nice to know that there's so many people out there who enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them. Like anyone else, I've got cubs to feed and bills to pay, so I really appreciate all the support that I get. It allows me to create and publish better videos at a faster rate. If you'd like to throw something in the hat as well, you can either support my videos on a continuing basis through Patreon, or by making a one-time donation via PayPal. You'll find links in the description. If you can't or don't want to, that's okay too. You can help my channel grow by liking and sharing this video. Thanks for watching.